Welcome everyone to the Caldwell Painting Podcast. I'm your host today, Fallon Caldwell, and I have the none other than Emily Kiever with Hinge Interiors. <laughs> and we are going to be discussing design, color, and everything in between. So stick around. So Emily, thank you so much for deciding to be on the show. We're so excited to have you. I am honored that you guys asked me. We're so glad we met you too. This, and then absolutely. all things that happened to get us to this point. <laughs> so, it was meant to be. It was. Yeah. So tell us, um, how did you get started and how did you end up in Germantown? You know, so I have been doing design for almost probably 20 years. That's the age of myself. But um, <laughs> I recently, my husband and I just moved to Germantown, I guess, um, August. So we are fairly new. Yep. Um, but my whole family is from here. So we decided to get closer to family. So I have been out in Colorado for the mm -hmm. last 20 years. And that's where the majority of my business has Very been cool. and still is um that must be nice for you to be able to go back it is i'm sure you miss it. it i do yeah there's there's definitely we love it here but i you know definitely miss things about colorado but um so i still get to work out there and then i am hopefully going to start working here more locally in yeah. the tennessee area so i'm excited about that um and then yeah, so I have my own business, Hinge Interiors, like you said, mm -hmm. and we do a boutique residential design. So my niche is new construction, large okay. remodels, renovations, and whole home furnishings. So we kind of do it all. And um, yeah, so excited to chat with you about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to be here. I'm glad we met. I'm glad Bart dragged me to this job <laughs> because I was busy that day. And when I'm focused, I'm like, no, I can't. So he's like, no, you need to see this bathroom. So how we met was um, my husband and, and Emily got together and she had an idea and we had, um, and then Bart just really fell in love with it. And they worked back and forth to figure out a sample they, and they came up with something. Emily picked the color, and it is divine. I promise you. It's so beautiful. And um, I came over, and we met. And as soon as I walked in the doors, I fell in love <laughs> with your house. Thanks. Uh, everything, the colors, all the details that you picked oh, out. But sweet. I'm so obsessed with the <laughs> crown and the walls. Like, I don't, I don't think I ever would have – I don't think I could convince I, anyone to do this. Not because it's not beautiful, but I think it you have to really know what you're doing to do this. I don't think I would have put these two colors together. Well, this one color together. <laughs> and it's it's amazing. So now I want to convince people to do this sort well, of thing. I'm all for it. I I mean, plaster wall finish is definitely having a moment right now. And yep. when we were doing this whole cosmetic remodel, obviously I wanted the whole house to be plaster. But... <laughs> um, couldn't do that. Bart would have agreed so, with you. Yep, 100%. Um, would have blown my budget. But um, <laughs> no, I actually found you guys on Instagram. And I don't know what I was looking at. Maybe probably something else. But I reached out because, you know, the contractors that we were working with, no one knew how to do it. It wasn't something yeah. that they were familiar with. And so when I found you guys on Instagram, I was like, I'm reaching out. And I was like, I'm just going to start with the powder bathroom. It was small and yeah. <laughs> a fun space to do it. But we actually, it was the second time we painted it because the first time we just went with just a regular paint and I was so unhappy with it. So I was like, <laughs> I'm just going to do what I want. And I got my lime, my lime wash. So Bart says that it looks like a bathroom in a very fancy hotel. Yes. And it, it, it looks like cognac to me. Yeah. And it and like suede, something really soft. Yeah. Well, and that's what, you know, powder rooms are always, you know, a little smaller in size and where you can really just have like the most fun in a house. Yeah. And so our powder room, you know, before was just this very basic, boring <laughs> room. And so, you know, we added the antique... Um, cabinet as the vanity yeah and then the walls just look like a leather kind of finish yeah. just with that lime wash it just gives it so much depth so I love it and maybe one of these days I can convince my husband yeah. to do <laughs> to do more rooms yeah. I'm just gonna keep chipping away but yeah well we'll show we'll show you guys pictures of that later on in in the podcast 
Yes. But yeah, it was it was divine. The appointment was divine, and it was amazing. And I'm glad <laughs> and we're now here. We're friends for life. Yes. <laughs> uh, so tell us, um, how did you end up in you? Because you were in Nashville at some point as well. Yeah. So when we originally moved here, we thought we wanted to be in Nashville because I had lived there, you know, before I went out to Colorado 20 years ago. Yeah. And so Unless it's really different it, now. It's very it? different. And so we ended up spending all of our time coming here to see family. And I was like, you know, it probably makes sense just to be here. Yep. And plus the real estate there was honestly insane. insane <laughs> and it was no better than Colorado. So <laughs> we were able to get um, a lot more for our money here. Yep. And it just ended up working out. So we actually really love this area. So this whole street yeah the <laughs> like whole every this whole it's neighborhood just, it's quiet and yeah so we are making lots of new friends and oh, that's new great. connections and I'm really hoping the and business. you're close to your parents close to all of them yeah everything. I think once people start hearing because your work's amazing well thank you and so once I people start that. hearing about you it's just gonna <laughs> it's well that's good yeah yeah so what um what colors do you have any colors that you're really feeling this year that you're gravitating towards or you're not sure yet? So, you know, it's hard for me when it comes to color because I am like so neutral based in most of my designs. Um, I tend to incorporate textures and metals as kind of like my accent pieces and less color. But I really, doing this house, I really gravitated towards some of the more saturated tones and so, you know, the neutral color that we picked that's throughout is uh, Benjamin Moore Natural Cream. And it's just a really nice, warm, creamy color. Um, and then the two saturated tones that we did, the lime wash, and then our library is a really dark tone. So, What, what color is the library? I think the library is... Oh, I should have looked this up before we did this. Sorry. Roy, <laughs> My Roycraft, bad. Roycraft, gray or green... We'll have to go in there yeah. after. Yeah, we'll have I'll to go have to in find there. out. Um, I, I've used natural cream. I've used it on, I don't think I've ever used it on an interior. Yeah. But I've used it on an exterior a few times, like maybe two or three times. Yep. And the reason I picked natural cream is because they had really, the, when you look at the house, you're, you're just seeing these huge shutters. Oh, yeah. And they were wood shutters. Yeah. And she wanted white, and then she had stone that was warm, and the wood shutters were warm. Right. And so without giving her a white, white, because that would, that would have looked terrible. Right. Like white and brown. Yeah. I gave her something that she would still, because her house was a dark green before. Yeah. So if I gave her something that was creamy mm -hmm. and looked white compared to it but still worked with everything that she had right so that was the first time I used it I think that was like 2018 yeah but I have used it a few times on exteriors I love it I've never used it on an interior yeah the only time I had actually used it was um at a client's house we did it on their kitchen cabinets and that was a few years ago and I just remember it looked so good and we had it up against do you have those pictures yeah they're on okay my I'd love to see yeah. them and they were up against, we did the walls in Greek Villa. So okay. when we were doing this house, my original plan was to do Greek Villa everywhere. Yeah. And then I just was like, you know what? Last minute, I made the change. Amazing. And I was so glad that I did, even though I love Greek Villa. But um, I would say up in the mountains on most of my projects, we use Swiss coffee. Yeah. A ton. And That's I love a really that. popular color. That's a really good yeah. one. Yeah. But, you know, it's tricky with whites, just trying to get, you know, depending on your light, you know, the natural light, what your, you know, interior light is. So, yeah, definitely um, a few tried and true colors, but. Uh, whites keep me the busiest. Thank God that they're so difficult to pick. Cause yeah. I have a job. You can look at 50 of them and. Yep. Yeah, it's. But right now we're actually doing two cabinets that are natural cream. Oh, good. We're working on a kitchen. Um, they're they're doing the boxes today, and they're installing tomorrow. Yep. And then I had another client, and <clears throat> I don't necessarily have a, have go to colors. Yeah. Because you know you show up there, and then they have like they don't want to change your countertops. Right. And I like what I do is really budget friendly. It's very different from probably what what you would do. You yep. you would be ideal. <laughs> so if I'm in budget friendly places and they're just picking paint, I don't do anything else. I don't pick 
right. tiles or I don't pick countertops. Yeah. So I'm working with their existing fixtures. Right. Whatever color works with it and looks like, and I don't think a color necessarily has to stand out in a room. Right. If you walk into the room and you don't necessarily notice the walls, but you, the space just feels good. Right. I'm happy. Yeah. And so, that's all that matters. Yeah. And yeah. that's the reason we picked natural cream for those cabinets because of what was already existing. Yeah in the room well that's what we actually did our kitchen cabinets in natural cream to match the walls because i ah. just i didn't want a differentiate like i just wanted it all to blend yeah and uh that was a good choice i love like never really done. the first time i was here you gave me a tour <laughs> and just walking through and because i i notice everything and i notice everything because then i'll get better at something yeah. if i notice certain things and I'm like, okay, well, I'm just thinking in my head, okay, well, this goes good together. And okay, that, and I love all the details. I love how you used, like, my favorite thing is when you, you knew, like, when to put black in certain places, you knew when to use wood, you knew when to switch things up, but nothing yeah. in here feels forced. Yeah. Everything in here feels natural. And your, your master bathroom with your cabinets are just oh, out of this world. Thanks. Your kitchen, like <laughs> all the little details yeah. are so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely, I wanted it to be warm and not, um, you know, some of the larger spaces get so cold. Like, you know, I think the grays kind of had their moment and, you know, they have their place with certain things, but it definitely... I think beige and warmer tones is really kind of here to stay. I'm At so least excited I so. for that. So, yeah. I'm so excited that uh, it's getting warm now. I hope so. I'm I'm here for it. So yeah. Hopefully. And it's so weird because I just never, I remember in like when I was in high school, like I was like the 10th grade and mm -hmm. I went and got beige shoe, like beige high heels oh, yeah. and beige boots yeah. and beige coat. Everything was beige. I, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then just wanting to puke a few years later, thinking, <laughs> what was wrong with me? And now I find myself buying beige running shoes oh, and yeah. off-white coats. I have like five off-white coats now. Yeah. And I'm very excited. I have green, like green sweaters. Isn't green huge well, right now? Green is huge. Definitely that like really deep, um, well, at least for me, just kind of that like olive green. Yeah. You know, it's just like I'm obsessed and with, with gold. It. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the darker, the better. I figure that's like my, the most color I can get, but they do say to look at your closet if you're having a, you know, yeah. trouble like figuring out what to do for your interiors because that's what you're comfortable in. So that's what you're going to be comfortable living in. And so. I can say that that's true because when I have clients and they, they so if a client has direction, that's mm -hmm. so much easier. If they're like, I don't know, just do what you want. Yeah. That really frustrates me. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because I don't want it to be what I like because I'm going to leave and they have to live in it. Right. So if I have some kind of direction, but then if they don't know, I'll look at what they're wearing. Yes. And then I'll kind of look around the house because it's already telling me something, what direction they want to go in. Yeah. And because they're buying these things subconsciously and they right. don't realize they're yeah. drawn to certain colors. Yeah. So I'm not going to, if they're in all neutrals, I'm not going to say you need lime green here exactly. and you need purple <laughs> over there. They're going to hate me. That's like they're going to think so they good like at it. Being a color consultant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm going to leave and they're going to be like, she's an idiot. Yeah. Like, why, <laughs> why did I, I listen to her? Yeah. yeah. That's no, terrible. Sure. <laughs> what was the most, um, challenging part of this job like which room was the most challenging who that's a good question um that is a really good question I think probably our master bathroom my favorite my, bathroom. like my favorite part that's yeah. awesome well it just was like an odd shape bathroom and I knew I couldn't really reconfigure it yeah. so the only thing we did was make the shower larger um but it was, I was having a hard time trying to figure out the tile and the finishes in there for some oh, reason. really? Yeah. So the tile that we used on the floor was originally going to be in our entry and I had them like flipped. Yeah. And then I changed it last minute, which I think was good. But um, yeah, I think that was probably the most challenging. Just it's, it's a very long kind of room. So with the tile, were you thinking like was size an, an issue it was the color so okay. I wanted the entry originally I thought was going to be this like gorgeous like antique
blue stone, like a limestone that's like almost black, but it's like real deep blue. Yeah. Um, and then with our wood stain on the floors, I just felt like it was going to be a little too dark. So I flipped it and just did a more natural limestone in the entry. And then I put the darker in our bathroom, which it actually works out well because that space is, yeah, it's large enough that it can handle it. And then I kept the walls all pretty light. Did you always know that you were going to do the wood in, on the cabinets? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I definitely wanted the wood tone. Um, I had thought about keeping it painted in there, but I knew everything else with the walls was going to be painted. Yeah. So, um, again, just trying to keep those natural wood tones and let, you know, just the overall warmth. Would um, you do it again? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's probably my, it's, my, one of my favorite things about your place, yeah. how much wood accents and yeah. natural looking wood accents you have. Yeah. And, and adding I, the beams, that was a fun right. feature that we did. So, yeah, we brought a little bit of organic, um, kind of European farmhouse vibe. Yeah, to the so well done house. too. <laughs> so well done, and, and a little bit of Colorado. I like to say, just you know, kind of <laughs> giving me those like rustic mountain feels. So, so what it, would how would you describe your style? So that's kind of tough because I guess my personal style, you know, I would have never thought that this house, it's so far from what I do in Colorado. So, you know, the exterior, the architecture of this house is very, you know, probably French, you know, yeah. chateau if you look at it from the outside. Um, and so the inside was a little bit more, I think this probably my personal style. It's yeah. definitely, I, you know, I leaned into it and. It's just kind of just like the cozy, um, you know, real comfortable kind of lived in, mm -hmm. um, which I think, you know, is a good place to be. I think that you, I think that's well said because it's so beautiful in here, but it's not cold and it's inviting. Yeah. So things. I think you nailed that. Thanks. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Come over anytime. So Emily, tell us where we can find you. Uh, so Instagram handle is at Hinge Interior, okay. and then my website is hingeinterior.com, and yeah. And then you can find the link in the description. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this is really fun. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I hope you, you, you. come back again I on will. our show. This is really my first time hosting a podcast by myself. Wait, oh, really? You, yes, my first well, you time. You nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> And you made it really easy. It well, was really fun. Good. You, you definitely made it easier. <laughs> My nerves are leaving me. But thank you so I mean, much. This was, this was, this was awesome. I will always talk design and color with <laughs> okay, you. Okay, great. Next time we'll have drinks. Yes, that sounds <laughs> I mean, better than my Stanley Cup. Better <laughs> yes, than water. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> we'll do it in the afternoon so we can have happy hour. <laughs> I'm, I'm for it. That sounds great. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, this was fun. <laughs> <laughs>